Rachel, what's been happening since our last story? I believe there's some good news to share. Yeah, yeah, we um, actually got news on Wednesday that we've got two confirmed donor matches. Um, there's no confirmation of date yet, so, you know, things can change, but we do have two matches, so that is a really great beginning. Yeah. Um, now we've just got to move through the process of uh, getting it here. <laughs> so how's um, Addie's health at this moment? Uh, it's, it, it has deteriorated quite a, quite a bit since our last um, interview. Yep. Um, you know, we're now sort of getting platelets every sort of six days um, mm. and blood's of two to three weeks. So um, it's come at a really important time yep. for yep. Addie. Um, at the moment, you know, she's, she's got almost no immunity to anything. Mm. Um, you know, her white cells are quite low. Her uh, neutrophils are quite low as well. It's something, something that you'd probably expect from somebody mid-treatment. Um, which, you know, we're not actually receiving any treatment. So, um, yeah, it's definitely come at the right time. So this, what will this transplant mean for Addie? Um, well, you know, it, it's definitely not a cure for her, but it is a life-lengthening treatment. Mm -hmm. So um, it will cure the myeloid dysplasia that she's suffering from at the moment, which is what's causing the bone marrow failure and the low cell counts and all that sort of stuff. Um, Obviously, we're never really going to move away from this cancer path anyway because of the Fanconi's anemia that she's got. But it will mean that her life will be a little bit easier. She'll be able to be a little bit more of a normal child, you mm. know, and play and be normal without accumulating bruises mm. or, um, you know, getting overly tired because her, her bloods are low and, and things like that because... I mean, at the moment, she functions quite well, as you've seen. Yeah. <laughs> um, but... As the condition every, pro progresses. Yeah, yeah with every yeah. injury that she has, um, we we have to go and get more, more supplies, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it's kind of a stop and start life thing. <laughs> so what would your message be to people, I mean, since Addie's story, you know was public there's been a lot of response what what Huge. would you say to people oh thank you um and i think i can not only speak for myself but any parent um that that has an oncology child whether they need a bone marrow transplant or not blood and platelets are a huge part of getting a child through treatment um and then you know on top of that you get into um bone marrow transplant and you're on this list and you just wait and wait and wait mm. and you know, even if we only got 10 people on the list, that was brilliant. But I know we got a lot more. I think we're looking at sort of 300 new registered donors um, for blood. I'm not sure about marrow, but... And I think it's really important that, you know, if you if you did register, still spread the word because, you know, we only found out the same day we found out we have a donor, our little buddy from our hospital found out he needs a transplant. So... You know, she's not the only one, and there's plenty of them. And so this transplant um, will save Addie for the time being? Yeah. yeah. Because she sort of was a bit... Yeah, it's, yeah we, we, we'll get a lot longer out of her um, mm. until something else pops up, um, mm. obviously, because we can almost guarantee that, you know, she will get something else. Mm. But for the moment, the the myelodysplasia will be taken care of, Um you know, nothing's ever guaranteed, mm, you know, yeah. and you just got to try and do what you can to to get to the next day or yeah. week or month yeah. or year. But this is a happy time. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is, definitely. We're celebrating tonight. We were going to celebrate on Wednesday night, but we get all the kids together. Yeah. So yeah. tonight it is. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. Thanks Thank for you. talking to the Mercury. Thanks, Thank Eddie. You.